Yeah. This is the journalist we out here in yeah, Bryanston, yeah, yeah. the leafy suburbs the best, of the north of Joburg. Yeah. And you know, Moonchild has a young pool party. Uh, Whoa! Signature whiskey. We love Moonchild. She's just been on an international tour. Globally, I'm the African doll. They eat me up. They eat me up. It's ridiculous. She is representing Zanti all over the world. Celebrating success. Young black lady doing big things. I've never seen you post like material things at all. Really not my thing. Mm. Like you should, if you see my unicorn shoes, those shoes mm. are like okay or whatever. I've got like ten of those. Yeah, no, you're, you're getting so, paid in dollars, no? So like, pounds are higher. <laughs> guys, Moonchild is paid. <laughs> if, if you want your student loan paid, you know, hit it up on the deals. I'm, I'm joking. I'm it's your girl Gigi Lemay, aka Ngosa Zanyasekasi, and we are out here, my girl Moonchild. Part two. Limited edition. Get it. Support. I tell you, cool. Check the one here. Yeah, no, that's because the strong. Make sure you get the addition. It definitely tastes as nice as how it looks. And this strong one doesn't. Like. <laughs> you pray, Master. The shadow team will keep to you. It is what it is. You know the story. So we are here today to check her out her pool party and talk to her obviously and yeah have fun and see what she's got you just released a song called the chicken and the egg and <laughs> go, what came first who came first the chicken or the egg the egg or the chicken or the chicken with the egg who came first the chicken or the egg the egg or the chicken or the chicken with the egg yeah did you expect people to act that way i didn't expect anything i don't mm. predict the reaction yeah. yeah i didn't expect anything the album yeah. was i've already, already been touring the album the song was popping internationally someone posted it on twitter on some is this is unbelievable then it was viral yeah yeah because it's just in my album and i didn't i definitely did not think about that at yeah. all yeah. but i played on it after I definitely mm. played on it after because I was just like, okay, cool. But the intention in general when I write is um, brands and stuff. Like, for instance, I'm talking about the entire chicken, but mm. there's no brand of chicken. There's different mm. ways the chicken is made, but there's no brand of chicken, which mm. is, this that gives a job for my sync team globally to sell the thing. So chicken mm. is everywhere. If you think about outside of the, how stupid the song sounds, what it is, is you'll be, you'll be showing the fact that it's chicken based on your beliefs. I'll be sure that it's the egg based on mine. And so that forces a conversation and people are so sure, but they impose it without realizing. Mm. So it sounds so stupid, but if you adopt the narrative of, I love chicken tiso, I fry you, I love it in the stew, I love it in everything. Basically, I love you through whatever. Mm. It's just that I just have fun with music, with all my metaphors. And for me, I think that's the epitome of art, right? To spark a conversation that makes people think, make people debate. But ultimately, you think about it and then, you know, and I think that's the whole point. Which for me, which for me, I think is genius. Uh, but yeah, you know, shout out to you on the one. <laughs> Today she said she has like a, a very intimate pool party and uh, yeah man you know me being the journalist you know, I, had, I had to get this. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm very happy like it's been insane. It's been ridiculous. It's been like like the world singing closer. Are you fucking crazy? Like arenas and they singing along to the album. We see your social media. Yo, you've been to like all corners of Big festivals, big stages. Yeah. How has it been? It's been crazy. It's exact because, especially after you've been touring for so many years, it's probably my biggest tour. My latest tour is my biggest, and every year is definitely been bigger in general. So, like, what what's the difference between performing outside the country and performing here? It's the appreciation of art, creativity, originality, and they buy into so much culture. I'm like globally, I'm the African doll. It's beautiful to experience um, in real time, you know? And um, those moments are those ones where I'm like, when I tell kids to go rewrite their dreams and make them bigger, I'm not talking from an idea, I'm talking from an experience. Because wow. I live my dreams. I remember, you know, I, I interviewed you on a different platform mm -hmm. and you were openly talking about sex, you know? You were talking about the styles 
what you know what women should do to their boyfriends and that interview actually went viral <laughs> you know and you know it worked for you man like like obviously at that time you had a different place in your life and you know my question really is like did you predict that it was going to happen that way prediction is one thing idea is another i've always had the idea of what i am mm -hmm. predicting is more on chance but working towards so when you remember when i told you i wrote down that um, when I started seeing how the waves globally was moving, I was like, I'm not going to leave home. 2016, I wrote down February to August, I'm going to have three, three commercial kids. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I got them in 2017. I didn't necessarily write how I was going to get them. But I'm very intentional with just how I move, how I, I'm ready for things, you know. So I've learned to just study markets. That's why I'll have a song in the pop charts in the UK, not in the African charts or other worldly music or whatever. Mm. It's in the pop charts with people from the UK, the South African and mm. Um In Sweden, mm. I'll have, because I know what pop is there, because I'm a storyteller on whatever mm. beat, I'm not in a box in general. I study things that I want to kill, mm. which is if I go for global, because I'm going for global, global domination. Mm. I study markets and to get into that and not just wait on chance. So, um, prediction is one thing, idea is another. I'm working towards an idea is something. Mm. Hoping is another also, still mm. not prediction. So, I don't necessarily operate on prediction. I operate on today for the future. Mm. I invest today for the future, but I don't get anxious about the future today. Mm. Mm. People will feel like you're supposed to change when, you, when they have the privilege of seeing you lose your dream. Mm. It's a privilege to see you live your dream because you're going to live it in mm. That's how I have it. Okay. Wow. Dope insights, man. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> we see, uh, you know, your your face on, a, on an alcohol brand. You know, we see the moon mop and I'm like, yo, that's so dope. <laughs> Tell me about that partnership. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this partnership because it's a Scottish leader mm -hmm. and it's a sherry brewed whiskey. So it's got a natural sweetness and flavors and all that jazz. For a long time, especially when you're yourself, you get you get rejected by a lot of people because it's too much, it doesn't make sense or whatever. Mm. But as long as you're true to yourself, it's one of those things that show that then there's a brand that wants to be edgier than the rest of the brands that are there. Which one is the most brightest? Which one is hippified mm. commercially mm. in the existing brands? Because there's a seriousness attached to whiskey. I'm a whiskey consumer, but you would not necessarily assume that based on how I look, how I speak mm. and all that jazz, right? Yeah. And so it's just changing the narrative and just being like, you're too serious with whiskey. Pull up, because it's fine, actually. Mm. And it made sense for me, because I had been offered um, brand deals before, but because I'm very conscious of how I move, I'll never be caught not consuming the product. If I'm not consuming the product, I'll never be caught not consuming something looking like the product. No, I see. So I'm very conscious when it comes That's to that. That's to say the I don't play games. I've, there's, a, there's a time where I've had to wear socks to sell advertising space for shoes and stage. Wow. Dope, man. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this. Um, Munchal, you know, I feel like I, I always need to catch up with you every six months because you do so much. And I think next time we we'll probably want to talk about the music, the sex toys, and you know. Oh my God, I've got an exciting American future coming through with the single I've got with Theology. I'm getting the voice on Thursday and we're dropping it in December. It's one of my friends and he's pulling my favor. It's Sonic. Okay, we know you. You know, I won't say the name. You know, but we, it's one of my friends. We know you've worked with Gorillas. Mm -hmm. uh, Still work with them. Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Mm, actually, those guys from London, I forgot them. Sad Night Dynamite? Yes, yes. Um, um, Diplo? Diplo, obviously. Yo, but Diplo That's is my friend. One. Yeah, and Diplo is like, for me, you know, in the dance culture community, he's like that guy that, like, yo, he's worked with everyone, made like global. He's that guy. He's that guy. Do you know when you make it to Diplo's list of women's months, the global one? Mm hmm. You're in the list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely an international. Okay. So I'm super excited about that first. Because I know they're doing New York Fashion Week this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then so I'm getting it on Thursday. And then we drop. But there's mm -hmm. so much music coming out. I'm featured, I'm featured in a lot of stuff. Where, where can people see you? Social media. Mm -hmm. um, I'm back in the country, so I'll be doing shows in the diaspora. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm going back to record my next project in LA in February. Mm -hmm. I've got singles coming out, I'm doing a lot of features with your favorites. Mm -hmm. um, so it's that season, I guess. I'm dropping some sex toys. 
Oh. Um, yeah, so I acquired some stuff. Um, so it's not much more to do with life. Mm-hmm. We do packaging deals, we do shareholding deals, we do deals for our children. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, so it's, I'm super excited, man. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, just the team I have has taken off so much of my shoulders, but I don't slack like in general because they just add to what I would have done. Mm. They just add, they suggest also to what I wouldn't have known. Yes. So it's us trusting each other as well and just moving right, you know? Yes. I mean, different markets. Mm. Oh, I've also got, um, there's a documentary coming out Mm -hmm. which um, aids to get licensed Mm -hmm. for sex sex workers. I'm an executive producer of that um, documentary, so Mm -hmm. it's going to be coming out soon. Okay, can't wait now. Can't wait. You know me, I'm here to always talk to you about it. And one day, Mm -hmm. I am going to have a partner. But it's gonna have to be two because we need to be realistic about the lack of the 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 unrealisticness of monogamy. It's very unrealistic. Right? Yes, that's why yeah. it's cheating. So, so when you say two, like uh, it can um probably two husbands and a girlfriend, big girlfriend. They can get a girlfriend. That's I like as well. So, okay, no, it's cool. We'll do like even if it's an Instagram live catch up, we'll do like a catch up once yeah. you once you release more stuff. Yeah. So oh, no, it's that bonus season. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I can feel it because it's the it's the features and the people mm. that are seeking for the features right mm. now mm. are people whose music I love as well. So mm. I think it's that thing of like. They've definitely been working with each other so much that it's probably mm. like, okay, we need something new. Mm. So it's, I think it's the, yeah, they want Moon versus Rock. And I'm here for it. Because me, you know, I'm a biggest collaboration home. Yeah, yeah. That's my language in business. Biggest, biggest business. collaboration? Home. Oh. I didn't want to say, because I didn't think what I heard you right. Yeah, no, I'm a biggest collaboration home. It's literally been my business, even how I've tapped into the, the, the film industry. Also, if you check out virtuoso.com, I've got, I'm a curriculum in the UK music um, schools. Really? Yeah. Uh, virtuoso, so I teach people how to be a global African brand mm. independently. I teach people how to operate in the studio, writing music, capitalizing on time. All those things. So um, I'm a curriculum in the music schools, in the colleges, and music. So this is for everybody that well, always wants to know, like how to, you know, be a big star, international big star. Um, uh, she just said virtuoso.com. Yeah, virtuoso.com. You have to pay to subscribe. I have no idea. I'm paid mm. <laughs> to be the teacher. Oh, okay. So it's like going into class. No, oh, yeah. So now that we've just had this chat, I feel like probably. Because mm. if it's going into class, mm. it's that it's because it's, it's a music course. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's even better. 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 That's it for now. Now we're going to drink. Okay. And, See you on and enjoy this intimate <laughs> pool party vibes. Thank you. Out here in a secret location. Swimming on water, not in water. Call me Jesus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Walking on water. All right, shop guys, don't forget to subscribe ne? and share this video and all the good stuff. This is the journalist DJ The Pop, the number one dance culture platform in Africa.